with Arsenal surprisingly losing at Everton yesterday. The Blues can see an opportunity to pounce, but to do so, they must first improve on their four straight defeats that they've suffered at a venue they can accurately describe as their least favourite in world football. Walker crosses the halfway line, he checks and goes backwards where Rodri makes himself available, when does he not? And the atmosphere, as you would anticipate, is phenomenal here inside Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Grealish has just been tackled, but fouled, says the referee. I haven't mentioned that today's referee is Andy Madley. So he's just awarded City a free kick. We're in the fourth minute. Free kick is a long way out. It's not going to be a shot, it's going to be a cross. Um, City, of course, have pushed up the likes of Akanji and Rodri. Mares delivers, and it's cleared fairly easily to be truthful. And uh, City then win it back at a good part of the pitch, and Rodri's onto it. And there's a crossing position here, and the cross is blocked, and it'll come back to Mares again on the edge of the area. Now inside it, Mares still with it, tries a little bending cross, which is deflected out for the game's first corner. Good signs for City. Good positive start for the Blues, and remember that Spurs in this horrible run here at home in front of their own supporters, four defeats in five. Grealish takes a long, deep corner. Ake's there on the far, he heads it across the face of the goal, it's not away, and then there's a sort of header on target from Akanji. I don't know if that'll count, and it goes into the possession of Hugo Lloris, but City have started well here. Walker gets it from Edison inside the D, looks up and plays it across to Akanji and on it goes to Rodri and into the path of Alvarez who darts away but it's still going back towards the City goal and Rodri has lost it and Spurs are onto it and they're into the penalty area and can you believe it, the first time into the penalty area Harry Kane scores for Spurs, well... That is just typical of the way things have gone for City at this stadium. They've dominated, Spurs have barely had a kick, and then all of a sudden they lose the ball in a dangerous part of the pitch. It breaks for Harry Kane, Harry Kane scores the goal that becomes their record goal scorer, and after all the excellent work the Blues have put in, they trail. City are going to have to do it the hard way, but they're coming forward with Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva tries the shot, it's straight at Lloris, but again, it was positive from Bernardo Silva. There was encouragement for the Blues, but it was too straight, and Lloris with a comfortable game. Edison plays it to Haaland. Haaland, oh, that's a late one. That's a bookable offence, there's not even an argument about that one. Loves a booking, Christian Romero, he's just got himself one. Oh, he's been waiting for that, he set that up, didn't he? Terrible challenge, right through Haaland. And uh, Kane tries to win the free kick, loses the ball. Now then, Mares is onto it. Mares towards the edge of the penalty area, loses it. Wins it back a second time, but Spurs have regrouped. Momentum's a bit lost here. Alvarez, though, still in possession for City. Plays it in field, Rodri hits it, it's on target, yes. But it's not with enough power, and Hugo Lloris flops onto it in another chink of light is over for the Blues. Pep Guardiola literally scratching his head, thinking to himself, goodness me, we've been here in this position many times before, I haven't managed to find a solution in the past, can I find one today? And City win it back in a good part of the pitch, and Alvarez is onto it here. Alvarez on the edge of the D, plays it out wide to Grealish. Grealish pops it in towards the run of Haaland, Mares controls it, and it's off the underside of the bar! A hit by Mares. it looked like it was going in, but it hit the underside of the bar, bounced onto the line and away. And that is the closest City have come to scoring, maybe in any of their visits to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's a good play by Bentan Kuhl, and it goes to Kane, but he lost control of the ball. City then on to De Bruyne, De Bruyne on the counter-attack, in towards Haaland, he's not going to get to it. It's a good idea though, and uh, in the end it's eased back by Dyer to Lloris. But that's the first time really that Haaland has got one-on-one -on -one waiting for that through ball, and it almost came off, Michael. Yeah, it did chance, I think, coming that way now. Oh, no, and Spurs are on the counter, you're right, let's just pause because Spurs have men over here. 
back here with a brilliant tackle. I wonder if the referee will bring the play back for a foul earlier. Well, he's not going to do that, but he might just have a word with the City player because Spurs were building a counter-attack. It was a late challenge. I think it was by Rodri, was it? But anyway, the ball has come forward, and in the end, there was a great tackle, a brilliant tackle by Ake, so much so that he's won a goal kick for the Blues. Anyway, City have now got the ball. They're inside Spurs territory. The ball is out wide on the left with Grealish. Grealish up against Emerson Royale. Can he get beyond him? Gets beyond him. Good tackle. No, it's not. It's a foul right on the edge of the area. Thought he'd won the ball. He didn't. He caught the man, says Andy Madley. Free kick to City right on the edge of the line. I suppose he could have a shot. It's very, very narrow, the angle, and I suppose if he whips it in at pace, you never know what might happen. Plays it instead to the edge of the area. Good chance! Oh, it's off the line! It was on target, it was hit with power by Alvarez. There are hands on heads everywhere. The Spurs body has managed to get it diverted beyond the goal. Goodness me, City are cursed at this stadium. They really are. It is extraordinary, the number of chances that haven't gone in. Let's hope that that petite piece of luck might go against Spurs because City deserves something different at this stadium. They've been the better team today. They've got the ball on the right-hand side with Alvarez. Alvarez pops in across, it's headed away but not very far, and then hit towards goal, claims of a handball, it's waved away, De Bruyne hits a shot wide of the post, City is still claiming a handball, there's a finger in the ear, the referee's listening to VAR. Was there a handball as Akanji hits this? No, yeah, it's underneath sure. him. Yeah, it's underneath so. him as he slides forward, and it's off his foot. Then his arm underneath, so he's never going to give him. No. Walker comes in field midway inside the Spurs half. On it goes towards Alvarez and off to De Bruyne and back to Alvarez who hits the shots just wide of post and bar. They're getting closer, but it's still not going in. Wonderful play, wasn't it? Kevin De Bruyne is finding that position. Little give and go, and as Alvarez hits it so early, Hugo Lloris is scampering across, just missing the top left corner. And it's opening right up now, this game. It certainly is. City are really going for it, but that means Spurs can do what they do best, which is counter, and Sonny's doing exactly that, and he's coming towards the edge of the area, and on it goes to Kane. Kane is through! Kane is through, and Edison makes a brilliant save. How he got through two challenges, I'm not totally sure, but he suddenly found himself with Edison right on top of him, and that block then bounced off Kane and goes out for a goal kick. Grealish down the left-hand side comes in field, De Bruyne, back to Grealish, Grealish into the penalty area, can he find the challenge? No, he can't, it's a good tackle, and indeed the referee says goal kick at the end of it, Grealish is puzzled, he doesn't think that was a goal kick, but the decision from Andy Madley is goal kick. Yeah, it's a good tackle, but it should be a corner. Grealish, winning it back, oh, that's a late one, but he got away with it, oh, and there's another late in one. Trouble. Take your pick, who's going? Romero. Romero. Second yellow. Bye bye, Christian Romero. But it was brilliant work by Jack Grealish as he commits him, but now it's about how City end this game. The ball pops into the area by Akanji. It's above Haaland. Grealish keeps it in. Grealish in the penalty area. Pops it in towards uh, the edge of the area. Lewis and Ake and Gundogan. On it goes from Grealish, it's a good ball, and Lloris palms it out, it's, well, it's surely a corner. This could be very, very interesting. He does catch the ball, and what will VAR think about this so late in this game is the contact right. with the right arm that comes round on Rodri. I don't think VAR are checking with any great vehemence, and uh, I don't think it's going to be a penalty. 